Hello, ladies and gentlemen. There is a scenario that is coming out that this, when it comes to the politics of William Ruto, he must not just assume relaxed and watch. When I was going across the opinion poll that Mutaingunyi has conducted in his Twitter handle timeline, I'm just shocked with the kind of the result that I have seen Kenyans deciding when if there was possibility of William and Wajokoya were the only candidates that were running for this election. <laughs> Actually, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if William Samoyuruto is so much worried with this candidacy of Wajakoya. You know, at times people are just looking at Wajakoya as a madman, a person that is not understanding whatever he's saying and the way he's consolidating his base. I want to say it here categorically, without any fear of contradiction, that Wajakoya is going to affect this presidential election. Take it to the bank. And what we are seeing Wajakoya having base and consolidating his base, this must worry William Samoy Ruto so much. Because as per the opinion poll that has come out in Mutai Nguni's test, is clearly indicating that William Ruto cannot defeat Wajakoya if there are remaining just only two candidates. Let us remove Jacob Railo Dinga from that race. And the way Mutai Nguni has conducted the opinion poll, people must watch Wajakoya. Because if Wajakoya is going to have a certain percentage that is going to affect the percentage of Ruto and Raila, we, this might be a runoff. Take it to the bank. Because according to the opinion poll that Mutai Nguni has conducted, asking between Wajakoya, between Buana, <laughs> Buana Sifio man, and Tingiza Mzizi, who is more popular and who is likely to be elected as the president of the Republic of Kenya if they go eat two people. And you see Wajakoya is getting 49%. William Ruto is coming second with 42%. Then Mutai Nguni has set a question down there who cannot, that I cannot remember William Ruto, is about 8%. Around 8% to 9%. <laughs> then add this, who cannot remember William Ruto very well, then add for 49% of Wajakoya. I want to tell you that William Ruto must be worried. Then let us assume this scenario, that where Raila Odinga is also at that thing, or opinion poll. I want to tell you, it is likely William Ruto to be number three. <laughs> Take it to the bank. Because when we see the way this election is going to be conducted, ladies and gentlemen, it is not as the way William Samaruto thinks that this election is going to be just simple as the way they think. This election is hard to predict. So far, when it comes to the candidacy of Wajakoya, it's going to bring a lot of worries to these presidential candidates. And most so whoever must be worried so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to be biased. It is William Samoei Ruto and their Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade. And this is my defending, defending point. Do you remember when William Samoei Ruto was starting his narrative. He captured a bigger percentage of constituents 
of those youths that were idlers, yes, they were having votes. Those youths that were not agreeing with the narrative of Raila Odinga, remember today they have been captured, recaptured to Wajakoya's side. It means that whoever his votes is going to be so much affected is William Samoy Ruto, if I'm not biased. And if I'm biased, let it be. This is the truth about the ground as per what we are seeing when it comes to the politics of Wajakoya, one, number two, William Ruto, number three, Raila Odinga. That if Wajakoya will come strongly, this is going to affect William Ruto terribly. And this is going to make Raila Odinga to pass up between them. Pop. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. If you don't believe it, believe it now. Raila Odinga is going to pass between these two people, Wajakoya and William Ruto. Where the scenario of Wajakoya affecting the votes of William Ruto, then Raila Odinga passing across between them, that's the way Raila Odinga is going to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. If you don't accept this, uh, accept this, save this video, reserve this video to be an evidence after 9th August general election. Because as per what I'm seeing and the opinion poll that is being conducted, broad light, live life, Wajakoya is having ground so far with this funny manifesto that he has come out to give out to certain constituents that is believing in him. So I don't believe the scenario where William Ruto is rubbishing the candidacy of Wajakoya. The candidacy of Wajakoya must be taken very seriously. What are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I appreciate so much because of your great support towards the analysis of this channel. If you're a visitor, please subscribe to this channel. That's the only uh, favor that you can do for me. Subscribe, like this video so that we can be recommended uh, in YouTube. Don't forget to put on that notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.